guys thunder here and today what we're going to see is an ssd it's from uh, crucial it's a 500 gb ssd which i recently bought for my laptop and it's an older laptop which i wanted to um, improve a little bit of performance uh, so i bought this ssd and tried it out and i found that the performance has improved drastically and the laptop is a dell inspiron n5110 which is a little bit old and why i particular went for this particular ssd is because it has sata 3 support um, the 6 gb sata and i didn't go for an nvme or a non-volatile memory uh, based um, the M2 uh, SSD because uh, one thing it's a little more expensive than this second thing it's not required because it won't meet my requirement of improving the computer performance because it won't support basically so uh, if you are having an older laptop then I would suggest you to go ahead and do this uh, any SATA based or even in this case this particular SSD performed really well and you can go ahead and do this otherwise if you have a laptop that is two or uh, I mean one or two year old and it does support the latest technologies then better you can go for an NVMe based SSD uh, most of the SSDs that are nowadays coming from Samsung Western Digital and Seagate are NVMe based and uh, uh, I can suggest you Western Digital WD um, you know S550 or any later versions that came later to that it's a very good alternative and as you can see uh, this, uh, uh, along with this particular SSD, you will get uh, additional casing, a user manual, and a small box. And once, um, uh, you know, it's a very easy thing to install uh, from the user manual itself. You will get most of the information, or you can search in YouTube for any DIYs, and you can get it installed yourself. So coming back to my videos, I have done a small benchmark test uh, on this SSD so that people will get a better idea. Uh, of uh, like um, how good the SSD is in performance so basically I can uh, tell you from my experience I found it really good I'm not that tech savvy guy I'm a normal guy um, I'm reviewing from a normal standpoint and I, I use a normal benchmark tool and uh, made a small video and as you can see it will show you uh, the read speed uh, the write speed and some random sequence checks like read and write random sequence checks you can see at the top uh, of that there's an interval time uh, preparation you can see what kind of test is being done uh, at that point of time and uh, while we talk about this particular SSD uh, if you ask me what are the advantages so main advantages are the performance one is the performance second thing is the competitive pricing if you compare it with any of the SSDs you will get a better value for money for this SSD and third thing is a five-year warranty um, along with very good endurance it has a, a very good endurance 180 TB endurance for this 500 GB drive and if you're going for a higher uh, size like 1 TB or 2 TB the endurance goes even higher so that is very good um, and it defines the life of the SSD and along with that um, it has an excellent software package support and also it has the horsepower failure protection which is very essential and uh, what is not so good uh, what I didn't like is the design and it can be it's a slightly slower but you know it's not that costly right so it will be a little slower so hope you like this video I made it little short from my experience and you can depend on the data it's um, um, you know I tried and tested it uh, hope you like the video uh, do check out other videos in my channel and thanks for watching and uh, keep updated press the bell icon subscribe thank you